Hey folks, it's Patriot Nurse. Join me today. I want to show you what I got when I went to the store and I want to tell you why I got it. Okay, so here we go. First things first, instant coffee. Now I know there are those of you out there who think that's the last thing you need, Patriot Nurse. You're already high strung enough. People actually seriously overestimate the amount of coffee I drink a day. On average, I maybe have one cup. Seriously, I'm just naturally high strung. <laughs> Good for good for me. Maybe not so good for everybody else, but the I'll tell you why. Okay, so here's the deal. When I have been overseas, when I've been jet lagged, when I have been tired, when I've been working long shifts, I actually used to drink a lot more coffee than I do now. Um, I actually, when I was working, usually it was second shift, but I used to get held over a lot. I would drink a pot of coffee a day. You think I'm high strung on YouTube? Oh no, friends. You should have just seen me when I was setting up my little meds in the nurse's station. Coffee is awesome. Uh, to keep you awake, obviously, but more than that, it's a psychological booster for a lot of people and a morale like kind of boost. And I'm going to take every one that I can get. And I actually got used to this when I was in Israel because they don't really use percolators and things that we use here. It, everybody just has instant coffee for the most part over there. So I got kind of used to it when I was spending time there, but it was pretty easy for me. Okay, so the next thing I got here is the red lentils. I know, like right on the heels of telling you about Israel, let's talk about Esau and selling his birthright for the stew. Anyway, red lentils are one of my favorites. Actually, all, all the legumes are gonna be a good source to store for um, protein, but also with iron and various other benefits. When you look on the nutritional label on the back, it'll tell you actually quite a lot about what's in there. There's actually a little bit of potassium, iron, of course, calcium. And with lentils, they cook very quickly. And one of my little hacks that I like to do is I like to go to grocery outlets and I like to buy the deep discounted jars of spaghetti sauce. So Newman's Own is one of my favorites, but they have lots of different types. And I actually do a lot of cooking with spaghetti sauce. And when you're looking at spaghetti sauce and some of the value that you can derive from it, um, not only is it useful clearly for its intended purpose, but I use it in cooking a lot. So what I'll do when I cook my red lentil stew or any stew is I'll put my lentils in there, but I'll also use the, the uh, spaghetti sauce and water and various other spices to mix in there. It makes it wonderful, wonderful soup. Okay, speaking of spices, Costco was actually out of this when I went today to go look, but I love Italian seasoning. I like the blends because the blends make it just real easy for you. And you gotta have some variety because if you're just eating the plain old stuff, you're gonna get bored really fast. So the spices are a really good thing to store. And I like, I don't like the individual ones per se. I like the ones that are mixed. Although if you're really into seriously having a lot of control over flavor you can. The reason I like this is because I do a lot of cooking with Italian seasoning. Um, I actually cook black beans with it, so I'll use my Instant Pot and I'll put the black beans in there with usually some peppers and onions and then about a cap full of this for a pound of black beans and some olive oil. Oh, so good, so good. Next, cashews. The reason I like the nuts is because they're dry, they're portable, they're lightweight, they're very calorically and nutrient dense. And also these are usually, when you're looking at the nuts, especially like cashews and Brazil nuts, they are, they're rich in a lot of different types of minerals that are kind of challenging to get in your diet otherwise. And also they just taste great, I think so. So the nuts are a good thing to store and I do love cashews. Now I have a lot of rice, uh, but I also really like quinoa. Now quinoa is technically not really a grain, it's more like a seed. Okay, by the way, people wanna know why I'm wearing this because of the mic quality right here. It's a really good mic considering everything that's available. I figured you would appreciate the audio quality instead of having echo, echo everywhere. So with quinoa, you actually have a lot of protein in this little guy. And you should be able to see the nutrient label. Here, maybe if I hide. If I <laughs> Maybe if I hide, hide from it, it'll show you there. But yeah, it's very calorically dense. It has a lot of protein. And this was 10 bucks for four and a half pounds. So it's more expensive, obviously, than rice. But it's a really good thing to use, variety speaking. I actually found a sweet deal when I went to the grocery outlet. And I found a whole bunch of frozen cranberries. They were like a dollar a pound frozen. They were, yeah, like sweet deal. And then I found like a pound of organic kale for 50 cents frozen. So what I'll do is I'll cook with usually garlic salt 
and the Italian seasoning with the quinoa and I'll throw in there some frozen cranberries and kale and like super, super nutrient dense. Because there's no reason guys, just because you're eating stored food and just because you're eating economically conscious, you don't have to scrimp on nutrition. If anything, I have found that when you buy the actual products, like the isolated products, like just the lentils and just the rice, you're saving money, but it also, because you are seeing what you're putting into your food, you can really focus a lot more on adding nutrient value. So for instance, when I'm making lentil um, stew, I told you about, I would add the spaghetti sauce, but I'll look in the fridge and see, okay, like what can I throw in there vegetable wise? I love to have carrots for sure. I love to have carrots and celery on hand, but carrots keep so long. All the root crops really are so fridge stable that you really should consider having a decent supply of them because they really last quite a long time. And then, you know, you can really pack a lot of nutrients into there. Another thing that I like to have is the vegetable juice. Now, why in the world would you have vegetable juice? Well, aside from having Bloody Marys, which we all know can make a world a little bit, world a little bit easier to deal with at times. No, I'm, I'm kidding, but seriously, the vegetable juice, I use it as a base for, stew, for stews and soups, but also I use it in Mexican rice. And I love Mexican rice because you're taking jasmine, which is what I use, even though I guess it's not technically legit Mexican rice, but it cooks fast, so whatever. Um, I'll use in the, in the rice, I'll do um, usually like for every one cup of rice, you want to do two cups of liquid. So I'll do one cup of the vegetable juice and then one cup of the water with the garlic salt and then add the soup vegetables and, and the, the peppers and stuff. The reason why I'm telling you guys this is because you can eat very well, pretty darn cheap. And considering that a lot of the items that we perhaps have been looking at are not available in the store. Like for instance, this guy right here, not at Costco today, nothing, nothing. Like there were the only mixed variety, um, spice mixture, mixed variety mixture. The only mixed variety mixture there was, was Tony's Cajun seasoning. Now I do happen to love it. So I got it of course, but these things, if you can get them, are really, really useful and they save time and they really make your life a lot happier, I think. Now, of course, every Southern girl knows that you can't be a self-respecting Southerner and have anything but Lucy Ann tea. We don't drink Lipton. Shame on y'all if you drink Lipton. No, I'm kidding. It's, it's a joke. It's a joke. But seriously, we love Lucy Ann tea. And why do we love Lucy Ann tea? Because aside from being packed with antioxidants, it makes water not taste so bad. Now, granted, it does have a diuretic effect, but... If you're in the South, you got to have your tea. I don't want to hear any heresy being spoken on my channel, y'all. Okay, now actually this was a really helpful thing at Costco. So they've got liquid IV. This is sort of one of the variants of oral rehydration salts. What I really liked about this is that it's an in individual package, which is helpful to throw in the car, a bug out bag, a first aid kit of some sort. But these are helpful because if you encounter digestive diseases such as typhoid, cholera, dysentery, like go right on down the list. I know you guys are thinking, gee, I haven't seen cholera here in the United States. Well, let's hope we don't because it stinks. It, well, literally and figuratively. But when you're looking at being wise about caring for people with digestive diseases, you've really got to pay attention to their hydration status and definitely the electrolytes as well. So I know I'm teasing y'all a little bit, no hair twirl for right now, but the quinoa is a big thing. Now this is something else to consider too. These guys are awesome. I actually had a neighbor who turned me on to these, but these are the little nasal swabs and they're a homeopathic take on things to essentially shorten the duration and severity of cold symptoms, the rhinovirus family. But one thing that I was thinking about actually, because one of the early symptoms of the big C is the loss of smell. And you know, we think about why would that be? Well, I can tell you that one of the key indicators for zinc deficiency is a loss of smell. Is there an overlap there? Mm, perhaps so. I don't know, but it could be that running zinc deficiencies puts us at a risk for a whole bunch of different things if you get my drift. So if it was me, I would definitely look into the whole family of the Zycam stuff. Um, this does not have any zinc in it, but it just got my brain thinking. Okay, now next, hot sauce. This one I got from the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. I do. And 
this actually is made in the United States of America. So no hating against the Louisiana Supreme hot sauce. I know it's not brand name, but y'all it tastes great. And as we mentioned, I love Mexican rice. So, but I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to go legit on things. So a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Also, I think you could probably make some sort of very interesting drink with that too. I wouldn't know anything about that. Uh, also, I want to tell you about these guys right here. This is the complete bone and tissue repair from Dr. Christopher's and also the lung and bronchial formula. I have mentioned these before. I regularly consume actually quite a lot of these because I, when I'm doing physical activity, uh, especially when I'm really trying to build muscle, this is really helpful for me because it decreases my recovery time. But also when you look at the, I wonder if it'll do, it. please focus thing. Please focus. Okay, my, my thing doesn't do the focus. Sorry, I tried. White oak bark, lungwort, slippery elm bark, marshmallow root, mullein, wildcrafted black walnut, which is antiparasitic, antifungal, gravel root, wormwood, antiparasitic, antifungal, plantain, and skullcap, as well as lobelia and aloe vera. There's a lot in here, herb-wise, that has an affinity for supporting the respiratory system. Great thing to keep on hand. So friends, I just wanted to, to take a quick moment here and show you that and kind of walk you through things and have a little bit of fun at the same time. I desperately tried to live stream this and it just was not working for me. I have no idea why, but I gave it my best, y'all. I really did. And I, I did a halfway hair twirl for you, so I know you appreciate that. Anyway, that's just a, a quick rundown of what I got today and I wanted to show it to you, just some of the things and kind of explain to you why and what a, you know how my brain works and what I'm thinking about that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. You can also support me on Patreon, subscribe to our cryptocurrency and PayPal. Got links down there in the description box below. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you enjoyed the live stream. Make sure that you share the videos too, because with conservative channels, YouTube doesn't promote them as much for many reasons. I wonder why. Make sure you share the videos, please. It does help me a lot. And I'm sure it probably helps other people too who would like this information who maybe just don't know it's out there. So give it a share if you don't care to. Have a wonderful week guys. Stay safe. May the Lord bless y'all. For now it's Patreon signing off. I'll see y'all later. Bye.